We are so glad to have you here. Our Thank discussion, you. even before the show today, on some really interesting things that I really want you to share with the viewer is this new survey that just came out regarding what is the most aesthetically appealing breast to many different cultures. Can you share the details of this? Yes, this is a study in our journal, and uh, in the Plastic Surgery Journal, and they took some computer modeling of uh, a beautiful breast to begin with, and then they did some computer alterations of the breast, in other words, movement of the nipple a little bit lower, uh, so that it was below the, the mid part of the breast, in other words, uh, like they put it at uh, where 50% of the breast was below, 50% of the breast was above, and then just slight variations of that theme. And then made uh, a breast with a little bit of a bulge on the upper part or uh, straight down or, or even with a little concavity. And then um, they made those modifications and then they had about uh, several hundred people, including plastic surgeons, including just lay people, evaluate what breast uh, shape and what breast appearance that they thought was the most attractive between several different uh, variations. So they were given four at a time to look and say, well, you know, I, I, I like this appearance better where the nipple is in this position uh, on the breast relative. I think that that's a more beautiful breast. You know, I love that because here's what that really says to every single woman out there, that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it doesn't matter about the perfection of what maybe uh, our culture has put on where the nipple needs to be on the body, but on what is most beautiful to you. Yes, yeah, that's true too. Um, I think uh, there has to be, of course, there has to be a connect between the two. I mean, I see patients who um, maybe they've come to become accustomed to where their, where their nipple position is, how their breast appears, mm -hmm. and they feel like that's, uh, that's very attractive or they've had an augmentation and they're you know, content with that. But I see where you know, they're, um, let, let's take a, a common situation, I think, with uh, round implants that we've been using forever and ever, and that's been pretty much the only choice for plastic surgeons, mm -hmm. is that it all, they always have a tendency to give more fullness in the upper part of the breast and make a bulge outward. And I've learned uh, as a male that uh, out of clothes, uh, the female breast is either uh, straight down, a straight down slope, or it has a little bit of, of curve that way as it uh, descends or as gravity starts to take hold. The natural breast. The natural breast out of clothes. Right. And the natural breast out of clothes doesn't have that bulge. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that bulge is, um, you know, it says a lot of things. You know, it says voluptuousness when you have that fullness there that can always be produced in clothes, depending on the kind of clothes, as long as your breast is uh, is is soft after an augmentation. You can put it in whatever shape you want, depending on the clothing. But out of clothing, you know, um, a, a normal breast should have a slope on the top and not have that bulge. So, um, and that's in fact uh, about ninety percent of the people that looked at the variations on the theme, whether there was fullness or whether it was it was sloping. And most of the people picked a, a gentle slope Which rather than. Why the teardrop is becoming so it, popular is giving more of that natural. Exactly, look. exactly. What that's done is that's brought um, the enhancement of the breast to putting less volume Bec because the <coughs> the silicone stays in one place and doesn't move in the implant. Mm. You can hold uh, just a small amount of silicone in the very top, and then more and more silicone, more bulk or more volume in the bottom part of it, where it pushes out the breast in a, in a forward direction.